all these devices and machines and everything we're building these days, whether it's phones or computers or cars or refrigerators, are throwing off data. Information is being extracted out of toll booths, out of parking spaces, out of internet searches, out of Facebook, out of your phone. Every single thing that you do leaves a digital trace. We're now collecting exabytes and petabytes of data, and we're looking through that data set using incredibly powerful algorithms to see what we would never see before. The whole world is being recorded in real time. It's the data that creates understanding and knowledge. We're beginning the age of collecting information from sensors that are cheap and ubiquitous, that we can process continuously, and we can actually start knowing things. There's a company right now in Boston that can actually predict that you're going to get depressed two days before you get depressed. So the more information we get, the larger the problems will be that we solve. Every powerful tool has a dark side, every last one. Anything that's gonna change the world, by definition, has to be able to change it for the worse as much as for the better. It doesn't work one way without the other. Now, today, it's nearly impossible to be truly anonymous. There are gonna be some really interesting questions as people's lives become more transparent. I think that's one of the key challenges of big data. It has so much opportunity for both good and for also really screwing up our system. I don't think it's an issue of climate change or health or jobs. I think it's all issues. What we're going to have to do is think as a community. There's so much chance to improve the quality of life. I think one of the most exciting things about data is that, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's giving us extra senses. You know, we're building this global brain that has these new functions. I think the internet, as wondrous as it's been over the last 20 years, it was like a layer that needed to be in place for all these sensors and devices to be able to communicate with each other. It's expanding upon our ability to perceive the world. This science is just at the beginning. All kinds of data and information are sitting inside the world you do every day. What's really happening is we're going to start collecting it. We're going to start seeing it. We're going to start interpreting it. There's a lot of information packed in the genome that we're starting to learn more and more about. And we're going to start moving more and more into this notion of personalized medicine. And that wave of change is going to take us in directions that we can't begin to imagine. Well, we're sort of just in the beginning of this big data thing. You don't know how it's going to change everything. You just know it is. Thank you.